Hello everyone and welcome to part two of our gun themed design lab. It looks like we got well over a hundred entries for this design lab so that's always great to see. There's a wide variety of ideas and skill levels and just nationalities of people involved so it's a lot of fun to go through all those entries and I did that on stream with some people helping me out and that was fun as well. Uh, but I've narrowed it down to 10 entries for you guys to vote on. And I narrowed it down based on a few different factors, you know, one of them just being how fun and interesting the design is. Uh, but a lot of times things were kind of uh, left out simply because they didn't feel functional enough and uh, it didn't seem like there was any possible way to hold it or fire it. Um, so I, as I kind of mentioned in the first part, uh, when you're doing a design this simple, like a gun, where it can just be, you know, a few simple shapes, um, it becomes extremely important uh, for it to have some functionality and fundamentals that will actually make it believable. So a lot of times people's designs were a bit over-designed. There was a lot of things going on that didn't even, you know, make sense completely. Um, so I was just looking for things that felt like they could actually work in some sense of the word uh, but without further ado I think we'll get to the 10 I picked actually no there is a little bit of further ado um, I think we're gonna try a different voting method this time so pay attention uh, in order to vote for your design that you would like to see featured in part 3 um, I think I'm going to write 10 comments uh, so you'll have to look at the comments below and I'm gonna write 10 different comments uh, before things get started and I'm just gonna have the name of each design um, featured in that comment and then you'll just be able to thumbs up the, the design that you would like to see further developed okay I think that made sense um, so anyway, yeah, just go into the comments. It'll probably get scrolled off the page uh, But just you know show all comments go way to the back to the first very first comments and find my comment Which has just the name and give it a thumbs up and you can vote for multiple entries as always So you can give you know a few different ones the thumbs up and hopefully we get a clear winner based on that so once again though feel free to talk about why you picked which entry and you know talk about whatever design kind of ideas uh, that popped into your head while watching this and hopefully that will all work out uh, but anyway now this time for real without any further ado let's jump into our 10 entries so first up we have an entry by Blues who is definitely a familiar name to the voting portion of these design labs. Um, I think he might have been in every one. Uh, but he has an interesting sci-fi take on a gun and it looks like it could be an assault rifle of sorts. Maybe it has some railgun type stuff, maybe some energy weapon type stuff. Um, but yeah, it's very, it's a very simplified kind of uh, rendering where he just has a basic thumbnail and puts in a couple extra values just to give it some more detail and personality, lets you see something into it. Uh, but it manages to be very basic in its silhouette with just having a minor amount of flourishes. Uh, maybe the bottom part gets a bit crazy. Um, and the trigger part could probably use some uh, tweaks just to make it more comfortable to hold uh, but overall it's just a fun looking design that could probably be developed into something really sci-fi and neat next up is head crabbed with his steampunk take on a gun and it just has the proper steampunk uh, aesthetics with its uh, metal rivets and its hoses and valves and things like that um, so yeah it has a simple enough silhouette Maybe it can be a bit uh, complicated as to how it actually works, but I'm sure we could figure something out. Next up is J44, who gave us a bunch of orange and black colored thumbnails, which were all very pretty. Uh, but I liked his ones that were kind of a submachine gun type look. Um, number five, or I guess I should say the main one that I have in focus there is just got a very compact like submachine gun or machine pistol type thing. Um, and I just thought it had an interesting enough silhouette that it could probably be developed. 
And uh, the other one, I just threw up one of his other ones because it was interesting as well, just to give us some other ideas on how we could develop this submachine gun looking thing. And I think that's more of a medical gun, uh, but you know, it just had an interesting silhouette. Next is J-Spark, who also had a bunch of interesting silhouettes, but I think we're going to go with his pistol design, and there's like a couple variations which are very close, uh, so I just put them both up there. Uh, but it looks like it could be a revolver type weapon, uh, maybe with an underbarrel, who knows. Uh, but it's certainly a simple enough silhouette, it feels like it has some heft to it, enough heft to make it... Um, something slightly sci-fi but not too far sci-fi. Uh, it just feels slightly different than what we're used to but it's still definitely believable as a near futuristic gun of some sort. Next is Cux. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but he's got a very kind of compressed and boxy looking gun here. Could be of an assault rifle type. I'm not quite sure what the scale of this would be. Um, but it's got some weird sci-fi elements. I just liked how kind of boxed off it was. It just gave it a very interesting profile and silhouette. Uh, but there's all kinds of weird things going on. Maybe that's a suppressor in the front. Maybe that's where the barrel is. I don't know. Things could be tweaked and moved around a little to make sure it actually feels like something functional. What might that circular kind of glowing object be? Some kind of sci-fi stuff. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, but anyway, next up we have S. Dan with his extremely compacted looking, I don't know, probably a submachine gun of some sorts, uh, but it looks like it could be of the bull pup variety, which just means a lot of the mechanisms and like the ammo and things are actually behind the trigger mechanism. Uh, so it just has this nice compact feel, it feels very, I don't know, futuristic once again. Um, so it's kind of interesting. It can be played with maybe all that stuff on the top. It's just some scoping of some sort, maybe some torp some type of sighting uh, mechanisms. Uh, but it's just a very nice kind of simple design. Next up is something on the more playful and silly side of things. Uh, Aether Technician had a bunch of kind of weird and strange designs and silhouettes. Uh, but I thought this one just seemed like fun enough to, I don't know, have people vote on it because it's just kind of fun and lighthearted. If you can make it out, uh, there's like basically what looks like a desk fan in the middle of this thing, which is just blowing air out and shooting bubbles off into the sky. So it's kind of like a bubble Gatling gun or something crazy like that. The silhouette isn't that strong, uh, but it can definitely be tweaked. The silhouette can be made to look uh, definitely more, I don't know, design worthy, uh, but that's definitely a fun idea. Next, we have a sniper rifle type entry from Apollo. And in fact, I guess I should say it's a railgun revolver rifle. So it is a revolver, it's a railgun, and it's a rifle and it has nice alliteration on its name. Um, so yeah, this just kind of combines some functional parts and it looks like it can almost make sense. Uh, you got some rails, you got a revolver, and you got some kind of energy looking, maybe it's a battery pack that goes in uh, below the revolver area. Uh, so it seems like it could function properly and it has just a nice kind of basic silhouette. The scope is a bit strange. I like some of that detailing, but um, the back part of the scope could probably use a little bit of work. Uh, but yeah, that's probably the only long range rifle looking weapon that we have in our voting phase. Uh, so thank you, Apollo. Next up is an entry by Gamma Box, and this definitely looks like it could be an energy weapon, maybe of like the Doom variety or something. Kind of reminds me of like a shortened little like BFG type weapon, uh, but it's got like a handle there and a stock on the end. Um, and it maybe could use some tweaking as to how you actually hold it, but maybe not. It's just kind of interesting. I don't really see a trigger mechanism, but. I'm sure that can all be figured out. That's certainly a fun looking silhouette. 
And our final entry is by Tal Fox, who has an energy-looking weapon, probably of the rifle sorts. Um, if you look at the back of it, it looks like it would be held similar to an old-fashioned, you know, Winchester-style rifle. Um, and it has some very futury uh, weapons tech on the front part. Um, so you can see he even showed how this energy type battery or whatever type of ammo thing goes in and out of it. And uh, I think this could be developed. It's a little sloppy in certain parts, especially around the back. And uh, But that can all be tightened up. I feel like there's enough design elements there for it to have some solid potential. And it just needs a, a trigger, <laughs> something in there so you can squeeze it. Uh, but I think that's about it. So hopefully one of these 10 entries sparks your interest and your imagination and you would like to see one of them further developed. And like I said, just vote down below by giving a thumbs up to my comment, which has the name of the entry you like. And uh, we should be back maybe in a week with a final rendering video. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, I guess that's about it. Once again, thank you so much to everyone that submitted entries. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys will pick to be in part three.